Do you want to play a game, a fighting game, similar to Smash Brothers, but with 2D pixel art? No. I don't even like Smash Brothers that much. I'm more of a Blaze Blue guy. Do you want to play a dating sim based off of that fighting game? Yeah, yeah I do. This is Lovers of Aether, the spinoff from Rivals of Aether. Hi, I'm Negative Legend. I'm that one guy on YouTube who may or may not be wearing makeup. Do I really look this good or was there effort put in? No one really knows. There she is, Aether High, home of the Heartbreakers. Man, if your high school actually looked like this, I am jealous. Cause my high school looked like ass. Solid as a rock, she is. All done up in her purple and gold. She's a beauty, ain't she? It creeps me out when there's people who just obsess and fantasize over the school that they went to. It's kind of creepy. School's a prison! Maybe, but the captain of the heartbreakers. At least I'm king of this prison. You know what? I like this guy's attitude. Let's get a move on. We're almost late. I forgot to mention, this is a furry dating sim. So if you're not a furry, get out of here. I'm tired of all these other YouTubers prefacing their videos with, um, sorry guy, I'm playing this game, but I'm not a furry. No, own it, you coward. I was sweating bullets there for a hot minute. Not that I can't handle a little heat. Oh, Zetterburn, don't get me started already. The homecoming dance is tonight and I haven't asked anyone out. Wow, that sounds far too reminiscent of my real life. There are so many options, so many people I could ask. Still, it feels like something or someone is missing. Woohoo! Homecoming, baby! Oh my God. I know neon green is a joke in the furry community for the color of fur, but Silvanos pulls it off. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe asking this one out. First period doesn't start for a little while. Maybe now's a good chance to talk to some people. Yo, Silvanos, how's it going? Lifting his backpack up and down like a barbell. Oh, it's another, another person that really likes to exercise all the time, nonstop, every day, every minute. And they have to consume like 8,000 calories in order to put back what they burn off. Hot. The zipper's slightly down and it's filled with weights. Yeah, that sounds typical. Who needs books at school? I'm all about those gains. You're looking pretty swole. Thanks, negative. <laughs> and I'm all natty too, except for the roids. I'd say I'm 99, 90, 10% natty. I suddenly am scared of this person. He pulls a plastic baggie of powder out of his pocket. He likes to party too. It's all thanks to my proprietary blend, baby. With these bad boys, it'd only take you, oh, I don't know, two to three weeks weeks max to get as shredded as me. You wanna give it a shot? My parents always said someone would offer me drugs in school. I'm uncomfortable, but I guess I'll go after Silvanos. Why not? Let's meet up after school, Silvanos. Ha 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 ha. Nice, it's a date then. Well, that was fast. Oh, hey, negative. Haven't had enough of me yet? I was just telling the guys about my throwing technique. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. How's about we demonstrate it for the whole class? Hey, negative, go long. I hate it when people put me on the spot like this. It happens more often than I'd like. Do I pin the blame on someone else or do I just go with it? Oh, uh, did I just get hit with the football? Oh, is he actually like a bear if you catch my drift? Why is there only dudes so far? You know, not that I'm against this or anything, but like, I kind of want some variety in my furry dating sims, if you know what I mean. As if on cue, the door bursts open and Claren steps through. She gives a strange, almost suspicious glance into the hallway before shutting the door and slinking to her desk. It is her, isn't it? Claren, right? Yeah, she is kind of cute. If only I could see her face. I don't know, I kinda, I think I have a commitment with, with Silvanos now. Not sure how this is supposed to go. I understand the game really, really wants me and Claren to go out. I know it ships us both real hard, but I kinda have arrangements. I don't wanna be a jerk to my roided out friend. Nah, I've got someone else in mind. Oh, hey, uh, negative, right? I'm still trying to get all the names down. I remember yours for some reason though. Heh, <laughs> of course you do. Cause everyone did at school. For some reason, I was popular in high school. I didn't know anyone's names, but everyone knew mine. It was torture. I like how one of the lockers just has a pet rock in the back. The rowdy students file into their first class, A Theory in History 101. I take a seat in the back near Raster, Zetterburn, Edelis, Crag, and Absa. 
Just as I look for Claren in the crowd, she slips into the seat desk beside me. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm wiped. I got none left in the tank. I don't know about you, but uh, that bird be looking pretty spicy. Let me guess, you just flew in and boy are your arms tired. <laughs> For your information, fire breath, I was out last night with a little ladybird. Sure it wasn't a ladybug? Oh, hello, oh, 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 hello. You see those lashes? Hot damn. Glasses too? Glasses with those lashes? And she got horns to boot. Did anybody study for the test today? I wanna study you if you know what I mean. All right, class, <laughs> shut your mouths. Today is your first test of the school year on Aetherian history. These are all basic questions about the world around you. You should have no trouble answering them. Oh God, I'm actually taking the test. I'm not comfortable with this. Watertown is the... Hell, a snake in the game? You know, I've never really been much of a scaly, but I'm willing to try new things. Check this out, negative. Eliana produces a small mechanical iguana. It skitters about as she places it on the floor. What is that? I've been working on him for weeks. His name is Bruce. Eliana hisses at the robotic reptile, which seems to confer some sort of coded order. Ah, uh, yes, let me give you my instructions. <laughs> You got that? Oh boy, I can chat with some of the students. I am, I am going after Sylvanos. I am going after the, the druggie. Why am I doing this? It's to get some free drugs. Psst. Hey, did you do the reading? Aw oh, man, me neither. I mean, I tried. No, really, I did, but I was hyped out of my gourd. After taking my pre-workout caffeine, I just had to hit the gym. Those gains. Sounds like a good time. I guess? Man, you're telling me that gets me amped up for gains faster than some pre-workout directly up the snout. Although it does make my kidneys hurt. Oh my god. So I got to this part where they were riding this magic whale over the rainbow and they found this leprechaun who, who taught them uh, the secret of the beast dash jump cancels. It was transcendent. <laughs> hey, you wanna hook up after school? Oh goodness, already? Finally. Hey, Absa. Hey, Absa, girl. Oh, oh baby. I don't know how to talk sexy. I've never had to learn how. Absa sits at her desk, chewing absentmindedly at her pencil eraser. She perks up when I walk by. Oh, negative. This is kind of embarrassing, but could I ask you for a favor? Yes, Absa. Yes, you can. What can I help you with? Please don't tell anyone, but I accidentally ate my homework. Can I look at yours? Why, yes, Absa. Yes, you can. I love you. You ate your homework? It just looked so delicious. <laughs> the delicate curves of my cursive, the sensitive but firm loops, the off-white college-ruled paper. I couldn't control myself. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be sexual or not. I'm slightly uncomfortable. LMAO! Oh, what a coincidence. I ate mine too. What? I didn't realize you had such a... Refined palate. Excuse me, pupils. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sure we're all itching to get to our English presentations. You negative. How did I know he was gonna call me? It's almost like I'm the protagonist. It's about hungry goats eating everything they see. <laughs> After a grueling journey, our heroes had to contend with magic whales flying over the rainbow and leprechauns. Overall, the moral of the story is the real treasure is the treasure we find along the way. That was the most creative interpretation of Animal Farm I've ever heard, Negative. Well done. You get an A plus for the presentation. If only life was really that easy. Whoa, Frostburn. How you doing, my main dude? My not main dude. You're not my main dude. I'm sorry. My second dude. People better stop messing with me, man. I'm tough. I have piercings. Everyone knows you don't mess with someone with piercings. My freaking brother. <laughs> Stupid principal Loxodont. That dang Sylvanos. Hey, don't talk shit about Sylvanos. He's my hubby. They all pick on me because I'm so cool and special that it makes them hate themselves. Yes, you're right. I have no doubt that is exactly the reason and there can be no other possible reason. 
I truly empathize with you. A loud altercation between Silvanos and a portly pig kid draws my attention. I can't hear what they're talking about, but it seems heated. The pig kid nearly trips over himself, trying to back away, but the mighty wolf easily lifts him by the collar and shoves him in a locker. He lets out a hearty chortle. That's not a word you hear often. What? Pay pig? Beats me. He was just some guy who flew too close to the sun. And by sun, I mean locker. And by flew, I mean... I shoved him in it. That seems kind of mean, Silvanos. Not gonna lie, that's not pretty cash money of you. You're telling me, Mother Nature sure is cruel mistress. That's why I take these bad boys. Silvanos puts a handful of clear tablets from out of his pocket. Bro, how much stuff do you take? Creatine tablets. Gotta take them so I stay on my evolutionary apex. Peak performance and all that. Plus they're great for water retention. You want some? They're mostly all natural. If I wanna be one of the cool kids, I gotta stand up for myself. And I think to stand up for myself, I have to do what the cool kids are doing. Sure. Nice, just don't go overboard. They cause acute liver failure. Well, I've got things to do. Lockers to stuff. Smell you later. Silvanos plods off after downing a handful of creatine tablets. That really can't be good for you. But he is ripped. What a day. A surprise history test, an English presentation for a book I didn't read, and a computer lab. And I haven't even gotten to the hardest part. Asking someone to the dance. So school's almost over. You gonna ask anyone to the dance or are you chickening out? Hey man, hey, I got this. I've never done it in real life, but in a virtual video game where all the characters are furries, I'm pretty sure I got this. This is it. It's time to do it. It's time to finally ask someone to the dance. But who's it gonna be? I don't know why I chose this character out of all of them but I'm trying to get Silvanos. 67, 68, 69, <laughs> 69. Hey, negative. Come to watch the Emerald Adonis sneak in a few reps before school's over. Can't say I blame you. I wanted to see if you wanted to go to the dance with me. Is this real life or did I finally OD on creatine? Do you really want to go to the dance? With me? Do you remember in freshman year when I was an awkward scrawny puppy with bad acne and anterior pelvic tilt? And how over the years I became more and more absurdly jacked to the point that people feared my bulging muscles would blow up all over the place? Well, first off, that can't happen. And second, it's so that Senpai would notice me. I just wanted all along for you to see me. How does a wolf have acne? Wow, really? You got yoked for me? All those ham bops and gloop drops were just so you'd pay attention. So in short, let's dance, baby. Everything I ever wanted to accomplish, I finally have myself a big bulging muscle furry compatriot. I'll get my body pillow ordered soon. 